Bow, what's up everybody? Once again, it's Brand Man, Sean. And today, we gotta talk about one genius branding move that Rico Nasty has made. And if you can't guess it, we talking about Sugar Trap. And it's not only the fact that she decided to describe her music as Sugar Trap, but in 2016, she released her mixtape titled Sugar Trap to actually position herself as owning that terminology. So here are four benefits of that brand move. Number one, by doing that, she took control of a large part of her narrative. She basically decided how people describe her music. A lot of time when an artist comes out, you get compared and described in so many different ways. Now she packaged it for you, sugar trap. And since they're describing her with a term that she created and decided to push her brand under, they're not just describing and talking about her, they're actually also spreading her brand free marketing. Number two, creative freedom. Since she's the one who coined the term, she can decide what exactly is and isn't Sugar Trap. At the very beginning of her career, or when she really started to get known, people were comparing her, trying to call her a copycat of Lil Yachty, which she denied, of course. Her new music is different, like Counting Up that was released recently, the beat and the whole vibe is very 90s, but her vocal is very reminiscent of kind of trippy red. And she's had a lot of other sounds and things that she's played with. As a matter of fact, the way she defines Sugar Trap isn't really even a sound itself. She defines Sugar Trap as loving something you're not supposed to. In a complex article in 2017, she said it's like loving something that you do that you're not supposed to be doing. Now, number three, of course, it gives you stronger brand differentiation. For instance, Instance, when there was a bubble when people were comparing her to Lil Yachty and then you had some Cody Shane type comparisons because they were saying Cody Shane sounded like Lil Yachty and even today someone similar to that sound is someone like Klondike Blonde. So people are trying to put you in this bubble with certain types of artists but you can definitively say I'm not that bubble. I'm this bubble. That simple. She is the leader in the category because she created the sugar trap category. She defines it, which is understandable why when Bali Baby was asked that she do sugar trap, she said no. You you do something called like a sugar trap? No. No? Now for the time being, it seems that Rico Nasty is the queen of Sugar Trap, not only because she created it and she defined it, but also she's kind of the only one who does Sugar Trap. None of her peers have accepted the term, which I wouldn't advise anybody to do for branding purposes either. She still has fans, which means she's inspiring people. So any other people who really look up to Rico Nasty and come up, a lot of them might adopt that term Sugar Trap. So she has the even bigger opportunity to be someone who birth a, a genre and other artists definitively with that strong term sugar trap since no one else accepted it in the same way other artists in the past have been known just like James Brown way back in the day was known for funk and Aretha Franklin was known for soul and R&B. So that's not only a short term branding opportunity, that's a legacy branding opportunity. Bryson Tiller with his trap soul has the same benefit. There will be an artist in an interview one day saying, yeah, you know, I was inspired by some old school music, you know, Trap Soul, Bryson Tiller. It's gonna be a thing. So creating lanes and owning those lanes are always strong branding opportunities, especially as you get more and more visibility and popularity. Other than that, as always, I would love to know you guys' thoughts and comments. What do you think about that branding move and have you been experimenting with some kind of move like that yourself? Other than that, if you like this video, go ahead and hit that like button. If you like it, you might as well share it. And if you're not subscribed, you know what to do. Hit that subscribe button.